Yeah, I'm losing my Getting edge. gold covered call is the topic of conversation here today, and it is a relevant one. Metals down huge yesterday. Metals down again today. Uh, back-to-back outlier moves in metals to the downside. So we're going to look at it getting on the other side of this trade with small metals, uh, like I said, falling two days in a row. And actually at prices now, around $70, this chart is as of yesterday. If you're looking at it as of today, on Tuesday, the 24th of November, market's actually back down to about $70, prices we haven't seen since uh, July here. And Pete, we've done some research on this mm-hmm. in the past and, and giving you some reasoning for why you would maybe look at a gold covered call and maybe look at it using SPRE. The SPRE on a daily and weekly basis, Pete, has seen major bounces on average here in 2020 after down days. And this first column here, just anything that's negative the week following uh, or the day following, excuse me, we've seen a seven cent bounce in the week following. We've seen about a dollar and a nickel. That's a, a pretty bounce for just any day that moved, uh, SPRE moved lower. On days, we've seen a, a dollar or more lower, which we saw yesterday. And we're seeing again today, Pete, even more significant bounces, especially you look at the week following here and, and covered calls uh, in some of these uh, long uh, strategies that are longer term, we would look at about a week's worth of, of uh, performance. And if you've done this in 2020 off of uh, moves like we're seeing today, $2.30 almost uh, in bounce uh, the, the week following, Pete. Yeah. So, I, you know, an interesting takeaway in terms of the, uh, the amount of movement uh, that we see uh, on these greater, you know, these larger down moves. And honestly, I, I, you know what, we talked about this a little bit previously, and I wasn't that excited about uh picking a low in the metals here but uh you know what we are down we're oh, we're down 91 cents today uh i would round that to a dollar and yeah. look for that a little bit of bounce in the opportunity here um, and isn't it true though that like it, w- the trades that you feel the worst about like buying oh, sure. metal metals here those absolutely. tend to be like the, <laughs> the better ones yeah uh, you want absolutely and um no you know nothing feels good um uh trading you know taking the uh um oh what is the word i'm looking for uh you know what buying the cliff either to the ups i mean you look at nasdaq today or uh you know any of the equity indexes today you would think i don't you know that is just too you know it's so upsided that uh it's not worth a fade i think these trades too and we've seen this in precious metals and some other things too when they actually have this just this heaviness to them and this trade near the lows it's like oh i don't know the next trade could be x or y but i think mechanically we talk about and this is where i love the statistics back up the strategy here that statistically this is a very interesting trade doesn't mean you pull the tables on mechanics in other words i'm due this statistically so i'm not going to manage it appropriately make both those decisions ahead of time but statistically i certainly like it and i just bought some 71 65s absolutely i'm glad that you that you uh kind of painted both sides of of that picture there because i do agree with you this is one where you kind of have to turn off your emotions and just ride with the numbers but you don't have to ride completely with those numbers Because you can look at some of these other markets like GLD and forward slash GC, uh, the the gold futures and gold ETF, and you can go to those markets to, uh, you know, help you sleep at night, essentially. And how are we going to help you sleep at night? We're going to go to them and and look at putting some options on them uh, against this SPRE long position. Um, And before we do that, just a quick comparison, why we would go to SPRE for that long position relative to GC or GLD, and that's because GC is a huge contract and the margin is around $12,000. And GLD for a covered call in there, 100 shares, is going to still be pretty darn big right. and it's going to cost you a ton of money. Here in SPRE, a nice smaller size product margin uh, under $500, depending on where you trade. And so, what you do, Pete, to make yourself feel better about this position, uh, you know, we got the statistics backing up the long, but I can bring my break even lower and reduce my cost basis right. by going to GC or GLD. And I'm looking at just $5 wide call spreads for a dollar or more in credit uh, in either of those markets, no matter what expiration or or strikes you're looking at, that's around what I would try to pick up. 
I love this. Yeah. And I think you can look at the, oh, the 1900, 1910 uh, GC spread. Um, do you want, okay. $5, you want $5 wide on the call spreads? Yeah, that's what I would so go you could be to. be a little closer. Yeah. 1880, 1885 gives you a dollar. Spot on. Um, yeah. I like this trade, $313 in buying power. You definitely um, tamed the tax. You're, you've got a long bias here, but you've tamed the tax. And I think this trade, for so many reasons, you've tamed the tax. In other words, that gold future, because you defined it and it's relatively small, will not outpace your until yeah. unless we have a monster will not outpace that movement in spree so i think this trade sets up really really well and i and when you mentioned that dollar of cost basis reduction that's a material amount that lets you add to where you're strategically going to set your mechanics around this and i i don't even know if i call this contra trending right now yes we're down ten dollars in spree so it is a bit of contra trending but we're still within that area up for the last two years the higher end of the range so but on a short-term basis absolutely a contra trending trade yeah what you've accomplished here is you've gotten your gold covered call on with uh i i mean if someone knows a cheaper way to do it uh please hit me up on on twitter because i i think this has got to be the cheapest way you could get on a gold covered call uh, like we went through gld shares or gc you're just not going to get as small as you are with SPRE. We've got the historically sound strategy, Pete, uh, those numbers backing up the fact that Spree and Gold uh, have bounced uh, this year off of uh, big moves to the downside. Right. And we use that optionality to increase the duration of this trade, reduce the cost basis, just get that break even. Instead of, you know, you buy the SPRE futures at $71.5, that $1 call spread that you uh, sold in GC or in GLD is getting your break even down closer to $70. And so that's the, the getting you a little bit more comfortable easing a little of that tension of buying a market that is in a little bit of a free fall here today. But that's, you know, A to Z here on uh, gold covered calls. 